Should you invest in Hymax Technologies? Let's analyze it on growth shares. In this video, I'm going to show you why you should buy this stock right now. When I analyze a company, I look at six metrics from intrinsic value to return on equity, and I put different weight on each. I then grade each metric from 0 to 99. And finally, together the numbers will tell me if you should buy or stay away from this stock. I encourage you to pause this video at any time. Intrinsic value. This tells me the true price of the stock. And based on my figures, we're good. Right now, this stock is undervalued. But intrinsic value only tells me the price. It doesn't say anything about the company. The next five metrics will tell me if there's a good business behind this stock. Earnings growth. This tells me the projected annual earnings growth for the next 7 to 10 years. And based on these numbers, this company is growing at an appropriate rate, a stock that will reflect that growth in the future. Price to earnings ratio. This tells me if investors are overly hyping the stock expecting something big. And looking at the P.E. ratio, it's below 15, and most investors are likely sleeping on this company. The perfect time for the unexpected. Dividend yield. This tells me if the company is paying out to shareholders. And at its current yield, you're drawing a decent amount of cash just from owning this stock. Return on equity. This tells me how effectively the company is using your invested dollars. And at this rate, return on equity is good. The company is using your money to grow in a smart way, and that's a plus for me. Free cash flow. This tells me how much cash the company has available to grow its market dominance, from research and development to acquisitions. Based on the cash flow, it looks bad. There's not enough money available to grow and overtake the competition. That's not a good sign. Before we put everything together, join my Patreon and get access to every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. Here's a quick recap of the grades from our six metrics. Final grade. When we put everything together, we end up with a company with good overall numbers. If you have this stock on your watch list, I'd consider buying it. 70 is the minimum for me, but I mostly aim for companies at 75 or higher. This analysis is simple, yet an effective way to get your research started in the right direction. In the short term, bad companies can have huge gains, while good companies can get cheaper. But in the long term, the difference between good and bad will become obvious. Thanks for watching, invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.